Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpine King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K23 video. It is currently June. All right. I'm only going to say this one time. This is the dribble package that you need to dominate for not only season eight in NBA 2K23, but even when 2K24 comes out. So what I want you guys to do is learn this dribble style, this dribble package. I want you to burn it into your memory and please thank me later. All right, so before we even get into the move sets, what you have to equip, what badges you need, and the actual tutorial on what moves I will be doing in this video, J. Ron Stack Up, what's good, Brody? You thought I wasn't gonna shout you out, my guy. You thought I wasn't gonna, you know what I'm saying? Say, yo, talk to my man, J. Ron, bro. Listen, I was playing 2v2s, and I ran into this dude named J. Ron Stack Up, right? And he was destroying our guard. To the point where I had to switch on him on defense. Now, of course, we did lose the game, but he messaged me after the game and said, yo, you play much better defense than anybody has against my dribble style. And I just want to let y'all know, I adopted that dribble style. So let's talk about the stop and go dribble style that no one talks about. Let's get into the video. King Kong. King Kong. So first things first, all my small guards out there, this video is not for you. This is for all my six, seven, six, eight, six, nine, and even some of my six, 10 bills, the ones that, you know, are a little glitchy, but this is for all my taller point guards, all of my taller shooting guards, all of my, you know, average height, small forwards, and some of my shorter power forwards. Okay. Now this is the crazy thing. When it comes to the stop and go offense, it's literally you waiting on your opponent to make the move before you make yours. Now, there are combos within this set that you can do to keep people guessing and to keep them off you and drive right bomb for the dunk or step back from them for a three or fade to a corner three. It's really up to you what you want to do with this stop and go offense, but I'm here to teach you the basics and the move sets. Now, what you see on screen, 87 ball handle i repeat 87 ball handle okay speed with ball 75 that's all you need you don't need to do anything else here with your attributes please do not be the person that says pod i know 87 ball handle crazy but i'm telling you i needed this 89 bro i promise on everything i look we're not here for that if you got some inquiries about that, go ahead and drop those in the comment section, but please do not tell me that you need more. All right, because you really don't. All right, now let's go ahead and go into the actual badges that you'll need, all right? Now, when it comes to the badges, I repeat, this build is made for twos, okay? This build is made for threes. This build is made for rec. It really don't matter where you put this build at, but the badges is what changes your player. Now, if you guys notice, I have corner as the name of the actual badge name, but this is not my corner build setup. I want 2K to give us more badge profiles to build out of because sometimes I choose a certain badge profile that I'm not using much. So for instance, I use my hash one a lot, which is that one right there, or I use my point guard one a lot, which is me having to, you know, be the facilitator and stuff like that. But corner, I really don't use that much because I'm rarely in a corner because most of the time I gotta play a, a shifty lock or whatever, but I'm, I'm getting besides the point, right? So here, ankle breaker, hyperdrive, quick first step, unpluckable, killer combos, handles for days, and clan breaker. These are the badges you need not only to help you move faster, get better stuns, get by your defender, move your defender out the way, but if all else fails, you got a bailout in Clamp Breaker. Now, what I mean by that is if you're somebody that is trying to go away from the movesets that I'm going to teach you and you try to use every adrenaline bar to get past this person and you just can't get by him, huh, Clamp Breaker is always there to save you, right? <laughs> All right, let's go into the moves. All right, let's talk about the dribble package real fast. Now, of course, 
they haven't done what we wanted them to do where we can choose what crossovers and things of that nature that we want to just blend all into a beautiful package this is the best that you're going to get now let's talk about michael jordan's dribble style for a moment this is the best dribble style in the game people from 6 1 to 6 9 even 6 10s use it people use zach levine's size up signature because you can't get steve francis and all that size up escape package Mwah. paul george changed the absolute game when it comes to this and i'll show you guys all of these moves in the tutorial now but for the tutorial after i get done these dribble uh sigs i'm actually going to show you some clips of me doing defenders dirty at the park in the rec theater it, it don't matter i do everybody dirty you just can't stop me no matter if you stop me if you understand what i'm saying shout out to all my clan breakers out there um <laughs> moving crossover lebron james it is the fastest moving crossover to give you separation what i mean by that is if you catch an inbound and you have someone blitzing you you can lebron james crossover right bomb they won't be able to touch you they won't be able to body you up for whatever reason lebron james moves and cross over in the backcourt with hyperdrive gets you up the court every single time no problem uh moving behind the back, behind the back zach levine don't use it much but it's needed and i'm gonna show you why when you're doing standstills okay moving spin basic everybody uses basic we already know about the, the the spins on that moving hesitation i have luka Doncic on all right a lot of people will say you can even go normal with this because you may have a little bit better crabbies and stuff like that that you can get but i use luka Doncic. i like it and i'll show you why moving step back Kawhi leonard i know a lot of people are like bruh why don't you just get lebron it's amazing i actually don't like lebron I'm going to tell you why I don't like LeBron's. It gives me too much separation because what I'm using is stop and go offense, which means I'm trying to get my defender to press to actually move next to me so I can see which way he shifts so I can go the opposite way. And if I have LeBron James on, I'm taking a huge step back, which means that player is only going to move forward to me. He's not going to move left. He's not going to move right. He's always going to move straight in front of my face and i'm not going to have the know-all to say oh dang well if i move all the way back and i got to move right then he just is going to move right with me no use a uh, kawhi leonard and it's going to help you out triple threat this is the biggest argument in the community we've used different uh triple threat styles each season i've used michael jordan i've used kobe Bryant. i've used zach levine i've used steph curry i've used Z it's just so many triple threat styles that i've used but michael jordan's is actually the best all right kobe bryant's is a close second zach levine is a third okay now park flashy pass don't worry about that pass style don't worry about that this is all iso work that we're about to put in so let's hope, go ahead and hop into those clips it's a regular first of all zion's packages are slow and, and and he has standing dunk packages because if you look at it long enough, he has standing dunk. Oh, my yeah. bad. Oh, I forgot. I don't, yeah, I don't know what you're doing, but you you bringing it. Because one the person heat. I said screens for another person I don't. It's like yeah. It's, you know when when you see the body, you just clear out. You know what I'm saying? You want it? You got me right, man. Trust me. Give me we trust, bro. What man? It's three v one, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, quit, bro. Oh, it's quit, bro. Nah, I made him quit. Hell yeah, bro. Niggas is that. That's crazy. Quitting over iPods is insane, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> like the code. Bring back that builder, yes. Bring, please bring back archetypes, bro. Please bring back archetypes, bro. I don't think they'll go backwards, though. I don't think so either. They so reach. We just got uncomfortable, man. You can't reach like that. They argue. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, hey, Tom. Catch you every time you do the edge. You move the way. What are you talking about, that, bro? <laughs> Yo, you broke my niggas dirty, B. <laughs> Yo, you broke my niggas dirty, B. Hey, bro, my bad, bro. Them niggas, them niggas snapped on each other. Yo, <laughs> You Brooklyn niggas is dirty, B. Harlem world, you heard? <laughs> All right, now we are in the actual Pro-Am 3v3 court. Um, Again, next gen, 
we need somewhere where we can go house our dribbling moves and actually change settings to not losing adrenaline bars not losing stamina being able to use the full court with you know the camera not flipping there's a lot of different things but that's the issue for 2k let's talk about the dribbles for a moment now what i'm about to do is i'm about to show you dribble moves that don't hurt your adrenaline bar okay i'm gonna say it again i'm about to show you dribble moves that don't hurt your adrenaline bar and with them not hurting your adrenaline bar you will be able to do different combos that can get you away from your defender now that we hear the tutorial right I've always been one of those people where I don't like to show a controller on screen because it's not going to make any sense to you. You're going to see the buttons being pressed so fast that you're going to be pissed off because you're going to have to watch my whole entire video in 0.25 speed. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm pressing and how many times I press it and you're going to see what moves I do. So for instance, this first move I'm going to show you, this is a simple crossover but it looks like a speed boost. It looks like a momentum. It gets people confused because the reason it's better than a momentum is because you're not locked into a can animation. You can cancel out of it or you can do a different move and not just the momentum. So what I mean by that is all I'm doing is holding R2, right? Literally, that's all I'm doing. And I'm flicking the right analog up, right and left. So whatever the ball hand it is, flick it to the other side. So boom, flick, flick, flick click 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 so with that right there right the first thing you'll notice is i didn't lose any adrenaline that entire time all right so let me show you the second move that i use i use a i use a, a simple behind the back i know y'all was like getting on me probably in the comment section about my behind the back choice but zach levine believe it or not zach levine is a very very good move and with this move right here guess what you can also do out of this move you can go behind the back you can go between the legs you can do a crossover you could do a step through cross you can do whatever you want and not lose adrenaline i repeat i'm not losing adrenaline all right now my next move that i'm going to show y'all this is the step through crossover now what i mean by that is i'm going to hold r2 and I'm going to flick the analog forward every time. All right. I'm going to flick it forward every time. That is called a step through cross. It's literally me doing a crossover and a step through hezzy. That's all I'm doing the entire time. If you notice, I didn't lose any adrenaline again. So I've already showed you three moves that allow me to keep every single adrenaline bar the entire time. Now, my next move, this is real, real simple. I don't know if y'all know about this move, but whatever like ball hand you got the ball in and you're actually dribbling just flick the left analog towards the ball hand super simple super simple super simple literally this one little like shifty move you can come back to the stop and speed boost out of that right around your defender your defender can shift left right and come back right to think because he thought you were going to drive and you go right by him every time so let's talk about my next move really really simple move all i'm doing is not holding anything i'm just going to keep flicking the right analog forward now remember the badges are going to help you out right so as i flick this forward right you'll notice my player is doing a crazy combo right super simple but you can notice that his stamina is running away now of course in these move sets these are things that you want to do after you do like let's say a behind the back i'm going to show you guys all those combos once i show you the basic moves right so for instance if i do a behind the back right and then i come right into like spamming these and then i do another step back i'm gonna tell you right now he's gonna fly to the paint he's gonna come back to me and i'm gonna fly right by him. that the chains of these moves are what sells everything all right now let me show you guys one of my simple combos right so for instance, if I got somebody in front of me, right? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test them with that. If they fly to the paint, I'm gonna shoot the ball. If they move a little bit and then fly a little bit more towards my right shoulder, I'm gonna speed boost out of that and fly by them. So what I mean by that is a real simple move like that and then I'm out of there. I'm going because I, they, they've already moved and that's my one adrenaline bar that I want to use every single possession 
to give up that cell okay so remember every time you speed boost is when you use an adrenaline bar for instance if i go behind the back and then i speed boost out of that behind the back that's a that's a bar so let me go ahead and reset the bars real fast for y'all because you only have three tries to get to the room so if i'm going like this right and then i go like this behind the back and then i see that guy get shifty i'm buying him every single time because that's that was his choice to move away from the way i was going that's just how the game go now boom if i decide okay i want to do two fast joints right and then i do it behind the back i have all of my adrenaline right i just shot right i went and did a hezzy left and then i did a behind the back this dude his player is shifting somewhere and it's up to you to make your decision on where you want to go all right now another move right this is like my favorite combo that i like to do right so i'll flick the right stick then I come around, speed boost out of that, come behind the back, go around, and then I go like this. Oh my God. That right there, it'll send them either two places. It'll send them all the way over because you did a crossover, right? Or it'll send them to the paint. That's an easy midi. Easy midi, right? Or if they're in the paint and you speed boost out of that with your one adrenaline bar left, you can do a contact dunk. <laughs> you, like, you, you can do it. You can do so many things with this. Bro. I'm trying to tell y'all it's it's insane, right? So look, check this out. So remember, I was telling y'all about the LeBron crossover, right? So if I decide I want to do a LeBron crossover, I have all of my adrenaline bars coming past half court. That was for me flicking the right analog. All I did was give myself a little bit of momentum and flick the right analog. Look, boom, a little bit of momentum. Flick, we out of there. Once I touch R2 though, that's when I'll lose the adrenaline bar. So you have to keep that speed up. So boom, look, if I go like this, right? If I'm coming down, of course, somebody blitzing me and I just get right bomb, I'm out of there. I'm out of there, I'm going. I do these moves religiously. Like, look, another step throughout the spin. Oh my God, people, people couldn't, they can't stand me. <laughs> like they, they really get mad at me. Now, what I also wanted to do was I wanted to go inside of my career and show you guys that these moves will work against the CPU as well. Woo! Y'all don't understand what it took to get into a my career game. Man, too many cutscenes. That's all I'm going to say, 2K. Too many cutscenes to actually play a game of basketball. Oh, my God. I'm going to show you guys some moves, man. Some, some, some moves. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do this LeBron move real quick. Look at that right by the defender, right by the defender. Now that was with somebody, of course, that's just shuffling their feet and then re re like realizing like, oh my God, I'm too slow. But most of the time that gives you time to actually get to the rim. That means if a player thinks that he can shuffle his feet and I'm talking about an online player, a real person decides that, oh, I'm just going to shuffle my feet, then he's going to get beat because I'm moving way too fast. All right, so let's do some of my patented moves that I like to do, right? So most of the time I like to do this, right? Now you notice where he went, see how he's shuffling his feet way too slow. This is the AI, right? The AI can be beat with these moves. It's, it's, it's unreal. Look, the AI can be beat with those moves because you just can't stop it once you start speed boosting. Now, if I would have sped boost, from the three-point line oh i'd have probably dunked on the big easily easily i could have just pulled back for a contact dunk but in those situations all you got to do is press square all right let me show y'all my behind the back moves for a moment now remember i was telling y'all right behind the backs speed boost out of those every like literally no i'm telling y'all if the ai can't stop you people definitely can't stop you now, there are different ways you can cheese the AI, of course, but I'm telling you right now, you, it's just it's just too crazy. For instance, right? Let's go ahead and just do a double real quick. Boom, 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 boom. You see how, see how I stunned him? You see that? He's going. And then you got the clamp breaker just in case because he chose wrong that's what these moves are all about and just dunking on ai is just it's always fun all right so let's talk about my step back so now check this out right so if i let me back up real quick 
Now he's pressing me, right? See how I stunned him just now? Did you see the way he slid? I'm, I'm gonna show y'all in the next possession how it really go down though. But I know y'all saw the way that boy slid. <laughs> Step through, you see that? Plant breaker. If they, let me make it make sense. They're going to choose wrong every single time. No matter if it's an online player, no matter if it's a, 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 a AI, it don't, they're going to choose wrong every time when you do that step through off the step back. I promise you every single time they're going to choose wrong. And every time that they choose wrong, clan breaker is there. And I'm sorry, that's just, that's the way that the game goes, but hey, it's not my fault. I'm just playing a little stop and go offense. You feel what I'm saying? Just stop. And then go with that being said um this is the ultimate dribble package for nba 2k23 i hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you guys leave this like oh by the way i really appreciate everybody who checked out the ultimate dunk package video on my channel make sure you guys keep running those numbers up man and i appreciate y'all the realest all right this is your boy ikc signing out i will see y'all in the next video we might even talk about the ultimate jump shot package you never know peace King Kong, King Kong, I buy. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I buy. King Kong, King Kong.